head to the left, and now we're magically in a dungeon. Can I leave the set dungeon? Yes, you can, but of course, you have to deal with, uh, the enemies out there. Of course, the music changes, thankfully. I mean, this would be kind of weird and lame if the dungeon didn't have different music now. And this dungeon is now complete with walls, so this is probably the most interesting area we've been in thus far. I mean, you have staircases, you have different screens, so it's pretty laid out well. It's pretty laid out in a nice way. Of course, you also have snakes. God forbid the snakes. Ah, dick, you get a little cheap-ass shot in, and there is no way of health recovery in here, which is really fucking annoying, so keep that in mind. Ah, oh, great, now I gotta deal with this butt like enemy. No. So let's see, I wanna see how far I can get in this place without dying, because I know I've been over the time limit now. God forbid. Should have paid attention a little bit more. But nevertheless, let's see how far we go. And we sometimes have these sections where you're gonna have to see where you need to go first before you actually make the leap. And of course, of course all dungeons come with dead ends, so be aware of which way you're going. Like right here. Oh, dick! And of course this game loves to do this crap sometimes, where it's kind of like, oh, you have enemies just flocking to say hello to your ass. Let's see, ah, oh, shit, no, no snake. Damn it. Oh, fuck that shit, I get killed by a damn snake. That is quite honestly retarded. Uh, well, I'm gonna make a quick save stay here. Okay, so make a quick save stay, get my life back to force, because I'll need it. There is another boss at the end of this dungeon, obviously. I mean, you can't have a... You can't have a dungeon and not have a boss at the end. That's just kind of weird, unless you're playing a serious RPG. And have it just a task that you have to do at the end of said dungeon. But nevertheless, we have crazy stuff up ahead, that, that much I can say. Try to be very careful going through this area. I mean, it's really easy to just get smacked by any stupid enemy just like that. Dicks! Damn fucking snake got his hit in. It's pissing me off. But yeah, this place is kind of lengthy, I guess. I mean, you're gonna have to really work in this place. And damn it, fucking bad team gets a hit on me. Let's see if there's anything of value up here. Oh yeah. Hey, it's worse than it. Ah, damn it, forgot about the damn. That snake died. How did the snake die? Did it just like hit. Ah, oh, what the hell? A dead end game? Seriously? Fucking hell. Fuck you. Alright, so the game really threw a dead end at me. Oh, great, now it's throwing cheap ass shots. I love how that snake can jump through the wall, but I can't. That's kinda nice. Wish I could do that shit. It'd be nice to probably get through this dungeon in a short amount of time. Hmm, I think I need to go up here and pass the staircase. Yeah, I need to jump over here. So, wow, there is some bit of platform element going on here. Fuck! Did I just jump through that ceiling? And now we have this boss. And... And this boss seems to throw a lot of shit at you. I mean, a lot of shit. Okay, kill this thing. Seems to have a pattern here. And then the boss comes down and you plug it with arrows repeatedly. <laughs> Dick! And he has this quite a pattern going on here. Fuck. Dick. Oh god, I gotta get you in a good pattern. Damn it! Come here, boss. Yeah, kill him. Yeah, fuck yeah! Uh oh, you wanna jump over this sword, because this sword looks nasty for me. And I got it. Fucking hell. Uh, the sword has been said to really be a downgrade from what you get from the wizard. And it's... I want to see how much of a downgrade is before I repeat my save states. Watch me not even kill these snakes in one hit. That would piss me off. Come on. It doesn't seem to be very good. Come on, snake. Okay, it kills those guys in one hit at least. Let's see if it... Let's see what it does. Does it kill you in one hit? It kills you in one hit. So I'm guessing...
guessing this might, this sword's probably gonna be like, like one bit, one bar, one a little bit weaker than the one I had. So hold on while I get all the way through this damn dungeon again for off screen, and then get back to the beginning with that good sword intact, or at least get to the point where I kill the boss and try to jump over the sword again. Hold on. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to get through this boss fight real quick. Just try to show you the, a good way to get through this guy and try to do this. Don't care what he does, just... I mean, you can take damage here, but the main idea is just plug this guy with arrows endlessly, he dies. And then he'll drop that damn sword, and what you want to do is you want to jump over it. You just want to just jump right before you touch it. Not a hard jump. But apparently I just fucked that over, and now it magically disappears, so that's pretty awesome. <coughs> and here's a nice little trick, just in case for if you do this dungeon again. <coughs> you can try to... you can actually take a shortcut right here. You see that staircase right close to, uh, this ledge right here? <coughs> or this floor I'm on? Basically, you can actually jump from that staircase to that floor. <coughs> And you can basically cut about it. Cut this trip up here completely off your little, uh, your little walking room. But of course, you do have to go back the slow ass way. That's unfortunate, but that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's, I've done worse. Like, fight these fucking enemies. So we're finally through. We're finally done with two thirds of this game, I would say. I mean, I. Completed two of the feats. I killed. I killed the tree of. Talked with the tree of Marlow. And fuck this enemy shit. And I've now killed. I'm guessing that was the goblin I killed back there. Fuck you. But now I still. Still have like one more feat to do. There's a damn statue. And I remember that one king back in Elder Castle telling me, "Oh, you're supposed to use these herbs on this statue." And now I need to figure out what exactly the statue is. And thank you, fucking bad demon, for magically appearing on my character's body and doing damage that I didn't need. So as I... I think what I'm going to do after I head through these enemies is I'm going to go up that staircase to the, uh... to the left, because that guy did say there was a shortcut to move on, in a way. Or a route to move on. And we got more of those golems that do have a lot of HP and kick your face in and, as need be. Fuck you. Okay, let's see if I can... Nope, you can't snipe this gold. And there is, there's the proof right there. My sword is much stronger than my bow. It's a bow and arrow. So nice. I like that. Bam. Punk. Okay, so far it's nearly getting murdered by damn things. Screw you, bird. Not in the mood to kill you. Fucking hell. Alright, so far, so not getting murdered. I have lots of damn points. Fuck you, lizard man. Not the mood. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's gonna be lots of lizard men this, in this area. I mean, considering that one jumped and smacked me upside the face, I'm sure another will follow. Luckily, I have this nice beauty of a sword. Hey, look, this looks a little familiar. Now I can just head to the left and no. Be t to a mon very shortly, I think. Maybe. That's my hope, anyway. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to a mon and I'm gonna stop there. But then we'll, next time we'll head, we'll try to find this statue of evil that the game's been telling you about. Fuck you, wolf. Fuck you, wolf. Hopefully I'm heading the right way, anyways. Well, let's see. Which way was to a mon again? Well, we'll find out. Hopefully this is the way. Otherwise, I'm going to be quite pissed. Yeah, this looks a little bit familiar. Fucking, fucking bird shit. Just trying to get things killed from here now, shit. Alright, so far so damn good. Plug this enemy with arrows. Kill that enemy. Let's see. Shoot this enemy, yeah, fuck yeah. Alright, so far so good almost. Ah, fuck that thief. Oh right, I forgot you can warp up there. Okay, now I 
feel like I'm going the wrong way now. I just feel like I am. Oh, uh, well, Verizon, that's weird. Oh, right, now I know which way I was supposed to go. I was supposed to go right. Well, I'll heal up by this guy, and then I'm gonna head to right. In fact, I'm just gonna warp to that town. Now that we know where we went into a complete loop. So hold on just a moment once I get my health back to full, and then we'll stop right at Amon, and see if we get get some more information. Hopefully the wizard has something different to say. I mean, I just kicked some ass earlier. <clears throat> hold on just a moment. Yay, back to town, or the village of Amon. Let's see if the wizard has something new to say. Just one more, right? Oh yeah, just one more. <laughs> yes, I've done that already. Stop being an infinite loopist. Yes, you've given me this sword already. <laughs> Alright, so now that I've gotten, gotten all the chores completed almost, I'm going to head to the right, and I'm going to head back to Harfoot for a reason. Because if you might recall, I have not, I've pretty much gone almost everywhere now, guys. <laughs> There's pretty much only one, a few places left to go. And to the left of the village, I don't think I've actually been to just yet. It shouldn't take too long, considering that, um, all the enemies are gonna die in one hit. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so far, nearly getting through this village without too much trouble. Alright, skip you, <clears throat> and I would suggest just walking, guys, if, if you can, because apparently you might have a good chance of not getting hit at all, I think. I mean, look at this, I'm just gradually walking my ass forward, this guy's gonna barely touch me, <clears throat> this fish ain't gonna touch me, that fish might, though. Great, now I have two enemies chasing me. <clears throat> Hey, that was pretty nice. I guess speeding through this, I guess the speed run is very possible. Lendo, we pay, pray for thee. If thou art tired, rest here. And this guy also seems to give you full health when you talk to him. Pretty nice, I have to say, but I'm gonna stop it here, guys. So next time, we're gonna head to the west and see what we can discover exactly. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and adios.